Frances Rohr is my grandma. She is the most amazing woman I've ever met. She helped raise me when I was little. She taught me how to stand up for what I want and how to stand my ground, whether she realized it or not. My grandmother was a stubborn woman who knew what she wanted and always got her way. She would never use her powers for evil. That just wasn't her style. But for ice cream, that was a different story. My grandmother also taught me how to be graceful, gentle, and warm. Some of the things I've always equated to her. She was gentle in the way she talked. She never rose her voice. She was gentle listening to delicate situations. She was warm with her advice that always seemed to be the right way to go, even though I didn't always listen. She taught me how to be strong, how to fight, and manage my own demons, when no one else really knew how. She had a few strokes over the years. The first one really did a doozy on her anxiety. Simple tasks became overwhelming, but with the help from her husband, she started overcoming it. Through this, she taught me strength. I want to be like my grandma. I admire her and the amazing life she's lived over the years. She was a daughter during a time when lavender grew around her parents' house, where she would play in the ravine not worrying about getting bitten by snakes. She was a driven woman who, before she knew how to drive, took her dad's truck and drove to work where she could barely keep it between the ditches. She was a nurse who sought out to help others as a career, pulling out chunks of asphalt from patients of motorcycle accidents. She was a wife, for 54 years a best friend to my grandpa, who enjoyed doing races in my grandpa's car, her in the passenger seat, managing the map. She was a mother to two handsome sons, raised them, taught them right from wrong, made them into the men they are today, bandaged their cuts, bruises, and gashes when two brothers took things a little too far, encouraged them to get an education and be respectable young men. She was a grandma who, always, who was always there for me if I wanted to talk, who encouraged my love for arts and crafts, even if it meant I was waist deep in the backyard's mud, creating the world's best mud pies, which I would then try to get my grandpa to try, being sure of its quality. We would sit in the backyard talking about her life before kids, her experiences with the extraterrestrial, angels in the afterlife, how to deal with my parents as an angsty teenager, she is the role model of what, I, what a woman I wish to be. She wasn't just my grandma. She was my mother. I love her beyond death.